Madam Rajavi, friends in Ashraf 3. I'm very pleased to be able to join you today. These are historic events in Antwerp. A diplomat from the Iranian regime has been found guilty of a terrorist plot and given the maximum sentence of 20 years. But it's not just Asadullah Asadi and his co-conspirators who are guilty. His masters in Tehran must also be held accountable. If there's a, a symmetry about today's speeches, it's because we've all come to similar conclusions. This trial has exposed for all to see how the Iranian authorities show contempt for diplomatic conventions by using their embassies and diplomatic missions to export terror and carry out terrorist operations. That's not how a normal government behaves. Even at times of genuine difference, tensions and difficulties, it's the actions of a pariah state, a regime that for years has taken advantage of diplomatic privileges and opportunities, not to further understanding, improve communication and resolve difficulties, but to plan export and support terrorist activity and murder around the globe. Today's sentence is proof of what they have denied for so long. Asadullah Asadi didn't deny the charges or express any regret. Instead, he asserted that the diplomatic status conferred on him by his masters in Tehran meant he was above the law and should go free. He refused to recognise the court in Antwerp. He showed contempt for the Belgian people, contempt for the French people and utter disdain for the hundreds of innocent people he planned to murder. The Iranian foreign minister defended him. The Iranian authorities had the temerity to accuse the French, German and Belgians of violating diplomatic norms. Violating diplomatic norms for apprehending a terrorist, foiling a bomb plot and prosecuting the culprits. That tells you all you need to know. He and his co-conspirators have got the sentence justice demands. The West now needs to show steely determination in making sure it's carried out. There can be no backdoor deals, no let off, no swaps for innocent hostages seized by the mullahs for the express purpose of using them as bargaining chips with the deliberate intention of seeking the release of terrorists like Asadi. This is the time for tougher action, stronger sanctions, reduced diplomatic privileges and reconsideration of our longer term relations with this regime. I believe we can't do business with them because we can't ever trust them and there's no point in pretending otherwise. Terrorists are terrorists, no matter how they dress or what they call themselves. And terrorists can't represent legitimate governments. They can't negotiate with de democratic governments and they can't enjoy di conventional diplomatic relations. They're a cancer and they should be rooted out. Thank you.